And we've been to Madison Square Garden, we've been to Michigan, so we're heading west, and it's time we stop in Las Vegas. Now, Las Vegas became very important to Elvis in the summer of 1969 when he opened at what was then the International Hotel. And leading up to that, though, it was a very important time in Elvis's career. Let's go back. In December of 68, Singer Presents Elvis aired on television, what we now call the comeback special, right? That's in December of 68. In January of 69, Elvis comes home to Memphis and goes to American Sound Studio and records songs like Don't Cry Daddy, Kentucky Rain, In the Ghetto, Suspicious Minds, and he's back on top of the charts. Then in that summer of 69, he opens in Vegas. February of 70, Elvis on stage comes out in record stores, and what's unique about that album I've always loved is the fact that Elvis's name doesn't appear on the cover of the album, just his face and on stage. Then the summer of 1970, MGM decided to do a film about Elvis, and it was Elvis and Colonel Parker's way to inform the world that Elvis was back live on stage in Las Vegas. If you want to come see him, this is where to see him. A few years later, they would do Elvis on tour, which showed people, Elvis is coming to your city, get ready for him. But in 1970, in the summer of 70, they shot That's the Way It Is. It was in theaters in November of 70. So it's time now to go to the stage at the International Hotel in Las Vegas, Nevada for a recreation of That's the Way It Is with a gentleman from Harrison, Arkansas. In 2011, he won the Tupelo Elvis competition. And in 2011, just a few months later, he walked off the stage in Memphis as the ultimate champion. You've seen him on stage in Million Dollar Quartet all around the world, with shows all around the world as well. But we welcome him now to the stage with That's the Way It Is, ladies and gentlemen, Coast to Coast with Cody Ray Slaughter.
Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, uh, I need to get a refund on those guitar strings. And I hope we have insurance on that one. No. Anyway, my name is Engelbert Humperdinck, and uh, we like to... Uh, I tell you what, man. I have never done one show without something going wrong. And that, that happened a lot quicker. Normally it happens, you know, a little bit later, but at least we got it out of the way. Anyway, it's disaster proof. Oh yeah, you bet.